Question 12. So, looks scary this question. So, let's first of all, let's just think about how we've got to here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take log of base 10 uh, of both sides. Right? That's all we're doing. Looks horrid, but it's not so bad. Um, and just do exactly the same to the other side. Okay, let's think about what happens here. Just think about your basic log laws. You've got two things multiplied together. So therefore, we can write this side and this, and plus this part here. Now when you've got a power, that comes to the front. So we're going to have, it's going to come down to this part, and then over here. So let's have a look to see how this compares about where we wanted to get to. So we've got that bit. Now we've got that bit. So this part here, so that's M, and then this part is C. Now, let's carry on from there. So looking at part B. So part B, let's just move this up so we can see a little bit more on the question. Um, so it says, use the information provided to estimate the number of microbes present in the culture three days after the start of the experiment. So what we need to do is we need to work out what this M value is. So remember, this is just a, like a linear function, isn't it? I need to work out the gradient of this. That's all. Um, so we can see here. So I'm going to take this value here to be, let's say that's 1.8. Five. Now, I think the easiest thing to do is if I come across to, to 1 and read it up here. So I'm taking this value up here to be 1, 4.1. 1. So if I work out the gradient just here, so obviously that's 1 across, and that's 2.25 just going up. So therefore, we've got a gradient of 2.25. So let's write down what we've got now. So we know that the B bit here is 2.25. So let's rewrite this part here. So we've got N equals, we'll come back to, the, uh, to this part just here in just a second, and then we can have T to the 2.25. Now we need to work out what the A value is. Well, it's the constant value, isn't it? Remember what we said before? So therefore, we can write down 1.85. So now we can easily work out what the A value just is, just here. So if I rearrange this, this is 10 to the power of 1.85 equals A. And again, just remember your basic logs, that's all that is. So therefore, A is, if you work that out, that's 70.8. So that comes in here. So 70.8. Now, what was the question? All right. The question was, if you remember, it was usually information provided to estimate the number of microbes present in the culture of three days. So that just means substitute T equals three. So N equals 70.8 times three to the 2.25. So if you work that out, just do that on your calculator. And it comes to, uh, that comes to a 38.6, so maybe top two significant figures, 840. Now you'll be given a little bit of leeway on that. There will be a range that would be acceptable. Now there is a bit more to this question. So if we look at part C, 
So it explained why the information provided could not reliably, yeah, reliably used to estimate the day when the number of microbes in the culture first exceeds one million. Well, let's just make sense what they're actually looking for here. Let's think first of all, if I were to do uh, base 10, 1 million, that's actually equal to 6. Right? I'm thinking about how high this is going to come up. Now, that's outside the range of our graph. Right? Just think about normal, you know, when you've done basic scatter graphs. Um, so it's outside the range. So let's just put that in our answer. So it's outside the range of the graph. Now, the nice word here is extrapolation. And that's when it becomes unreliable. Now, there is a part D of the question. And just quickly show you, it just says, with reference to the model, interpret the value of the constant A. So let's just write this down here a second. Well, Think about when t is 1, okay? Think about when that bit is equal to 1. In other words, 1 day. Well, that whole thing would be equal to 1. So a would be equal to n. So a is the number of microbes after 1 day. Okay.